हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू लर्निंग ई टैप्स ट्रेनिंग सीरीज एंड सो फार वी हैव डिस्कस हाउ टू डू आर्किटेक्चर ड्राइंग देन आफ्टर वी हैव कन्वर्टेड ग्रीड इन्फॉर्मेशन टू अवर ई टैप्स देन आफ्टर वी हैव ऑल्सो डिफाइनिंग द मटेरियल प्रॉपर्टीज एंड नाउ आफ्टर डिफाइनिंग द मटेरियल प्रॉपर्टीज अवर नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू डिफाइन द सेक्शन प्रॉपर्टीज सो इफ यू बी गुड एट डिफाइन एंड सेक्शन प्रॉपर्टीज हियर देर इज ऑप्शन ऑफ सेक्शन प्रॉपर्टीज so from here frame section frame section will be convert uh, uh, frame section will be used as a beam sections as well as column sections and there is a separate properties of a slab section so first of all we will go to the frame section so it will be opens up a one dialog box and from here we can define our own frame properties so first of all we will be define our beam properties and then after we will be defining our column properties so to define a new property simply you can click on add new property dialog box and then after you can go to the section shape which is going to be concrete rectangular and shape of the column is also rectangular so you can click on this rectangular icon so once you click on rectangular icon it will be display one more dialog box now here uh you can specify the properties of your beam so let us say first of all i am i am going to specify the properties of the beam so i am using property name as a beam now material i am choosing m20 and then depth and width you have to specify let us say i am specifying 350 depth and width is 230 these are some of the preliminary standard de design data so if you are very beginner from the structural point of view and if you don't know what are the things which has to be preliminary assumes as from for a starting of designing of any buildings or industrial buildings or commercial buildings so for that you can also refer my new section that is a uh, preliminary standard data design section so i will be upload those videos as well so right now i am specifying the depth of the beam which is 350 mm and width of the beam which is 230 mm now you have to also specify the reinforcement properties of this beam proper so i am clicking on reinforcement properties since i am dealing with the beam so i am clicking on beam longitudinal bars obviously fe500 confinement bar fe500 longitudinal bar means the reinforcement which is uh, placed parallelly to the beam and confinement bars means stirrups now top cover and bottom covers you can specify that as i am specifying top cover and bottom cover to the 25 mm now we are not uh, dealing with the uh, ductile detail of the beam so i will be keep this value as it is by default and i am clicking on okay and again click on okay so as you can see my beams properties has been defined similarly i can also define column properties so to define the column properties you can simply go for the add new properties concrete rectangular rectangular shapes and here you can specify column material is m20 and then let us say i want to specify the square column so width and depth of the column 350 by 350 now the next thing is very most important within the reinforcement of the column now if you will be go to the reinforcement of the column the first thing is design type should be column longitudinal bars fe500 confinement bar also fe500 our column is rectangular column and confinement bar should be ties now these are the two most important option if you are designing a new column so at that time you have to keep this option reinforcement to be designed but if you are designing uh, if you are checking the existing column and you know what are the reinforcement uh has been used in that column so you can click on reinforcement to be checked 
and you can fill all these data and you can check it out whether that column is sustainable to carry the given load or not but since we are dealing with uh, creating a new design so we will be use reinforcement to be designed now clear power to the confinement bar let us we will keep 40 mm number of bars longitudinal in 3d direction phase so as you can see this is three directional phase this is two directional phase so let us we will keep both directional keep reinforcement as a 3 3 now longitudinal bar and size let us say 12 mm and confined co corner bar let us say 16 mm so these are corner bar 16 mm and longitudinal bars 12 mm and then after confinement bar which is to be 10 mm which is to be stirrups and longitudinal spacing of the column let's say 100 mm and number of confinement bar in three direction and two direction we are specifying 3 3 as well so as you can see if i will be go to the reinforcement this three direction one two three vertically and three along two direction also three reinforcement one two three and so on so you can simply click on ok again click on ok ok so we have added the beam properties as well as column properties now rest of the properties we don't require so if you want to delete that properties you can individually delete but if you want to delete multiple properties at a one time you can click on delete multiple properties you can click on first property press to shift key select the last property delete selected frame section first last you can select the first property and press the shift key and select the last property and delete selected and click ok so as you can see we have two properties beam column so it is very easy when we are going for the designing so we don't have to comes up with so many properties now you can simply click on ok similarly you can go to the define section properties and you can go to the slab section so i am clicking on slab sections we have already two slab sections but we want to define our own slab section properties so we can click on add new properties and from here let's say slab 125 mm and slab material is m20 and modeling type modeling type here there are some of the modeling type of the slab slab thin means it will be take some of the shear force slab thick means it will be take shear force as well as some nodal loads and membranes it will be not take any of the shear force since our slab is 125 mm thick so it will be take some loads so we will keep slab thin then after type of the properties slab which is uh, pure slab you if you have the drop slab steep slab rib slab wafer slab so you can also choose that option from here as well and the thickness of the slab is 125 mm and you can simply click on ok and i am clicking on plank and click on delete property ok again slab 1 delete property ok and again click on ok 